With your local and area news this morning, I'm Justin Mott. This news brought to you by Adams Ford in Logan Sports. Moving along with your rest reports this morning in Shelby County, Emirate Tut, age 33, in Nacogdoches, violation of probation, original charge, driving while intoxicated. Mattia Whitaker, age 42, of Nacogdoches, non payment of child support. Rebecca Blaylock, age 20, of Mount Enterprise, theft. Stephen No, age 39, of Mount Enterprise, theft. Brandy Wright, age 38, of Center, possession of a controlled substance. Michael Watts, age 51, of Center, possession of a controlled substance, tampering with physical evidence, violation of probation, original charge, evading arrests. And in St. Augustine County, Joseph Logan Morton, possession of marijuana. And from the Center Police Department, Tristan Patton, age 27, of Center, disorderly conduct, looking into a dwelling. Michael Barbie, age 50, of Timpson, expired registration. Dante Barnes, age 36, a center, public intoxication. Brandy Wright, age 38, a center, no driver's license, failure to maintain financial responsibility, and delivery of a controlled substance. Craig Lewis Miller, age 49, a Shreveport, theft. Willie Ray Edwards, age 56, a center, assault, family violence. Michael Watts, age 51, a center, possession of a controlled substance, tampering with physical evidence with intent to impair and warrant for evading arrest. Terrence Rushing, age 24, of Center, warrant for no insurance, no driver's license, expired driver's license, no registration, and failure to appear. And moving along in your obituaries this morning, Mr. John Wesley Cockrell, age 73, of Broadus, passed away recently in Broadus. Memorial service will be held this Friday, the 21st, at 10 a.m., at the First Baptist Church in Broadus, Texas. 92-year-old Hazel Schilling Metz of Orange, formerly of Center, passed away Saturday the 15th in Beaumont. Gradeside service will be held today at 2 p.m. at the Fairview Cemetery with Reverend Karen Jones officiating. She is survived by one son, one daughter, four grandchildren, and eight great-grandchildren. 89-year-old Edgel Charlene May Permitter, formerly of Joaquin, passed away Saturday the 15th in Arlington. Her services will be held Tuesday at 11 a.m. with Reverend Jody Hooper, and Reverend Austin Moore officiating. Services will be held at the Mangum Funeral Home Chapel. Burial will follow at the Wimberley Cemetery. Mr. Robert Lee Cotton Sr. passed away recently. Services are going to take place Thursday, April the 20th, at the Zion Hill First Baptist Church in Nacogdoches at 1 p.m. with Reverend A.D. Mills officiating and Reverend Kenneth L. Cotton as the eulogist. Burial will follow at the Mount Zion Cemetery in St. Augustine under the leadership of the Sid Roberts Funeral Home. Visitation will be held Wednesday, April the 19th from 2 to 7 p.m. And family visitation will be held from 5 to 6 at the Sid Roberts Funeral Home in Nacogdoches. Rachel Van Dees passed away recently on April the 16th. Visitation will be held from 6 to 8 p.m. tonight at the Garrison Funeral Home. And in other news, coming up in May is the 39th Annual Take a Kid Fishing Day Brim Tournament. It's going to be held on May the 13th. That's Saturday, May the 13th at the Huxley Bay Marina. The deadline to register your child is May the 5th. And for more information, you can visit our website at cbc-radio.com. At cbc-radio.com. This news brought to you by Adams Ford in Logan Sports.